Who's the preacher? Who's the preacher? Oh, it's me, oh Lord. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. It's a great thing to just be in the house of the Lord one more time, in the land of the living. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be here today. Yeah. Hallelujah. I thank my pastor for this opportunity. I thank the men on the roster. Yeah. Uh, ladies being here. Special guest from Mississippi. <laughs> the brother from somewhere. I saw him a few times. So thank you for being here making an extra effort. And our thanks to uh, a lot of guys offshore. They join us from the distance. So uh, shout out to y'all out there. Uh, the Christians in from our family it's in Virginia and Texas and Mississippi and Alabama. Greetings to you all. <laughs> Hallelujah. Our scripture is going to come from the book of Luke, chapter 1. God is good all the time. All the time. All the time. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, I'm turning myself, y'all. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1. We'll start off with the first verse there. All right. Luke chapter 1, starting with verse 1. For as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us. Even as they delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word. It seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things, from the very first to write unto thee in order, most excellent Theophilus, that thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, we're going to do some skipping down from there. Let's see, skip down to verse 9. Verse 9, according to the custom of the priest office, his lot, Zacharias, was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. 14. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. Amen. We're going to stop right there. Blessed be the name of the Lord, for the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. Hallelujah. My topic is going to be the certainty of those things. The certainty of those things. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bow before thee to give you the thanks and praise and glory and honor. You are our master, our deliverer, our creator. Hallelujah. Our God in whom we trust, O Lord. We know when we put our trust in you, everything going to be all right. It don't matter how long stuff take to come to pass. If you say it, it is done. Hallelujah. Let us increase our faith in thee. Hallelujah. So that we, not only for ourselves, but all the people that we affect. Because you put us in different places for different reasons. But Heavenly Father, we can all minister as you say to. Hallelujah. Wherever we may be. Let us be careful to give you the praise and glory and honor wherever we are. Heavenly Father, we pray that you use me right now. Not that I speak, but you speak, O Lord, through me. Given the word to feed this flock. Hallelujah. So we can have that spiritual nourishment that we need in our daily walk of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. The dedication to Theophilus. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Luke chapter 1 is divided into seven sections. And section 1 is the dedication of Theophilus. So here the writer Luke, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So this uh, gospel writer 
he's a medical doctor and he is known to be like one of the most accurate guys because he give those dates and those extra little details that some of the other gospel writers didn't give. So even here, uh, verse 5 says, In the days of uh, Herod the king, uh, whenever, whenever they uh, identify one of the kings of Judea or uh, Israel, it's, it's a time frame. And Luke, I, I'm going to just say, I'm, I'm going to just skip to Luke chapter 3 just to, just to give this, make this point. Got to put on my specs to see my own stuff around. That's what I'm talking about. We're matching up here. We're matching on the yeah. altar. <laughs> Luke chapter 3, verse 1 says, Now in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius the Caesar, so that's one, Pontius Pilate, being governor of Judea, has two details, and Herod, being tetrarch of Galilee, has three, and his brother Philip, tetrarch in Idorea, four, and the region of Triconus, five, and Lysianus, the tetrarch of Abilene, six, Annas and Caiaphas, being the high priest, seven, then they finally see the word of God came to John, the son of Zacharias in the wilderness. So it's just a thing that Luke is a, is a detailed man, giving those details about uh, whatever he was into. So, of course, the good thing is he's into the Word of God. And the Word of God, hallelujah, bless the Lord. He wasn't the eyewitness, but he was like rubbing elbows with a bunch of firsthand eyewitnesses. So it's got to be accurate. So a news reporter, the news reporter didn't see the incident, right? But when they report that news, they got to try to get on the scene and get the most accurate information so that when it's portrayed to us, uh, 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 communicated to us, it's accurate information. So here is, here is Luke uh, giving this to Theophilus. So going on, uh, the birth of John the Baptist is the second section of, of Luke chapter 1. And that's the one I'm going to focus on today pretty much. There was a man in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias in the course of Abia, and his wife, the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. So right off the bat, we got Elizabeth. Uh, uh, they, were, they were blameless, holy. They were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord. Blameless. Blameless. So these were righteous people. So, but this the catch. Elizabeth was barren. Now, Baron, now, you know, everybody just doing any old thing, kind of, sort of, doing out there. It, it, it don't mean as much as it did in the Old Testament days. Mm -hmm. Old Testament days, the Lord said, be fruitful and multiply. Mm -hmm. So if you wasn't fruitful, it's like, what's wrong with you? You mm -hmm. know, so, and, and, and look, I'm just saying from other people in the, in the where you were, in your group, you know. So, uh, so it, was a, it, was, it was a little embarrassment day. Right. You know, it's like, man. I mean, you know, we, did, we got married, we betrothed each other, we doing everything right, we going before the Lord, we done prayed, no child. Mm. So she was well stricken in years, and so was John. So when he uh, went to the temple, he went to the temple, it was, to, it was his time to, to burn incense. Mm. Now, I'll just say, anything we do for the Lord is a privilege in itself. In the Old Testament, if that wasn't your job, you didn't do that. Mm -hmm. So you could be, <laughs> I want to say killed by the Lord, but you could be slain by the Lord mm -hmm. if you wasn't uh, doing something right or, uh, you know, coming before the Lord. You don't step to the Lord in your kind of way. Yeah. Have mercy today. Now, I know today we say, come as you are. Well, yeah, come as you are, because once you come into God's house, he's going to clean you up his way, but not from the outside, from the inside out. So it don't matter what you look like, you come on in here. Rollers in your head, that's all I got. Oh, I got slippers and rollers. Well, come on, come on. This is, this, is, this is a house of the Lord, but he wants everybody to come in. And what do he say? Like, even when uh, all the proper people, uh-uh, give me, give me the lame, give me the blind. Come on in here, because this, this is the house. This is the house. This is the hospital. This is the courtroom. This is everything you need. He said, I am. So he is. Hallelujah. The author finisher of our faith. So, Zacharias, to, 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 to get to this point, He's in, a, he's in a line, what? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. In the days of Moses, God told Moses, Moses, go get Aaron, your brother. And have his sons, too, come and consecrate themselves. And they're going to minister unto me. Go get them. Oh, yeah. So, of course, hey, you got to be obedient. Yeah. Now, two of his sons, they weren't obedient. They gave the, 
a strange fire and died from that. But uh, but it, it's through that Aaron. Aaron is the priestly tribe. That's the tribe of Levi. So just backing up just a tad bit more. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Jacob had the 12 sons. The first one is Reuben. Mm -hmm. Second one is Simeon. Mm -hmm. The one that we're dealing with is the third son, Levi. And that's where the priestly tribe come from. That's where Moses and Aaron came from, that tribe of Levi. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, number four is Judah. Oh, well, that's the tribe that David came from, which, of course, uh, Jesus is, is from that tribe, Judah. Okay, so you had to go by lot because by the time we got to Zacharias, it, it, plenty of folks, plenty of folks. So, you know, the, the children had children, those children had children. Like, oh my goodness, and, and, and God said, Abraham, you won't even be able to number these. Like, number them, Lord? And it's like, I don't, I don't have a son. I, maybe it's my uh, servant. Uh-uh, it's not your servant. And then don't have to go plotting and try to fix it yourself and mm -hmm. give it your wife and get with Hamar and get Ishmael. Uh -uh. When I see it, when I, look, look, I am. <laughs> Some of these people don't recognize. If I see it, it's going to be. So, <laughs> and I see it's Sarah. So Sarah's going to have the child. So Sarah was barren as well, right? And once God spoke it, even though she was 86 years old, y'all remember I did the little thing, oh yeah, Sarah looking good, 86 years old. Yeah, so, See, I remember that part. Well, uh, well, he, uh, <laughs> but she had a healthy child. When she had a child, it was a healthy child. Yeah. So they had Isaac. Now watch this. Isaac go to marry Rebecca. What happens there? She married. But Isaac entreated the Lord. Lord, she married. Hold on, Isaac. You, you, you asking the right entity, the right person. I am. Yeah. You're going to have a child. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> so they had uh, twins, Esau and Jacob. And of course, uh, God selected Jacob to, to, to bless. We call Jacob the 12 tribes of Israel. Now, even with Jacob, Jacob, after at what? Leah and, and uh, Rachel. Now, the, the handmaids, they didn't have no problem having kids because <laughs> the jealousy of the sisters there. But, but, when it came time, <laughs> but when it came time for Rachel, Rachel was barren, and it wasn't until a while that she, she asked her husband, hold on, I'm barren. Am I going that I can fix it? You're asking the wrong person. You can't ask your husband for certain things, you know. But hey, she went to God, and God heard her cry. All right, now you're going to have a child. So she, then she had Joseph, and then she had Benjamin. All right. So we just getting that out the way that, hey, the barrenness looked like it was in the family. It looked like Sarah was barren. Rebecca was barren. You know, wow. So in this case, Elizabeth was barren. And they had been praying for heaven's knows how long or whatever, but I feel like they just gave up by this time. That's well, right. yeah, we owe now we owe not to be grandparents. We ain't going to worry about it. <laughs> Let's just uh, collect the Medicaid cards and, you know, get our Social Security. Let's get through with this. Hey, hey, we owe now. But with God, is anything impossible? Oh. And that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So with God, nothing is impossible. And he wants us to realize that. And he tells uh, about the an angel Gabriel. So, hey, you know, like, hey, if you're doing something, especially if you concentrate doing on something that you need to be doing for the Lord, if somebody just appears, you know, that, that will start here, you know, just a person. Hey, this man have an angel. And not any old angel. I am Gabriel. Amen. That's in the presence of God. Yes. Oh, now this, this is big time. This is not FedEx or UPS. This is special <laughs> delivery from heaven. Yeah. Well, come on, tell me what's up. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, Angel said, I got glad tidings for you. Yes. Glad tidings. Now, let me, let me just distinguish this glad tidings versus just tidings. <laughs> when we do stuff our way and not God's way, and I'm not saying this to condemn nobody. I'm just saying this to that we, we realize the point. We got to do it God's way, and it come out more of a blessing that way. Yeah. But when, when y'all pretty ladies go with us, us men, and and something happened, and and it's you conceive. If you're not married, the man almost like get dumb. How did that happen? <laughs> Look like he failed biology class. Oh, oh my gosh. What are we gonna do with it? <laughs> it's a it's a surprise. But when but when you're marrying things in order and in line, 
It's like, man, this is, I got a son. Woo, girl, watch out. I might squeeze you too hard or something. <laughs> you know, so it was a joy to, to have your, your, your children back then. It was a joy. <laughs> Hallelujah. And it, hey, be fruitful. Oh, yeah, come on. And Leah was fruitful to uh, her, her husband, Jacob. So when, uh, when Jacob had Leah, he was really working for Rachel, right? right. But it's like, hey, Leah was, you know, giving him children. And the children were named, you know, the uh, Lord see me suffering. Now maybe my husband will turn unto me. Well, he ain't turned to me yet after the second child. <laughs> Judah mean praise the Lord, though. That's number four, you know. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we know he, he did love him when it's all said and done, but I don't know, he was still kind of partial to Rachel. Uh, but, but the bottom line is, hey, she had more than half of the children for Jacob. When it's all said and done, she had six sons and a daughter, Dinah. All right, now moving on. I digressed enough now. <laughs> All right, so uh, they had no child, but it came to pass. Uh, they, they got the, the news that we're going to have a child. So, of course, Zacharias still in amazement. And <laughs> this is the one thing that man ought to do, y'all. Man is man going to explain to God the situation. Well, look. Uh, Gabriel, you know I'm old, and uh, my wife is well stricken in years. Like God said, duh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't I create you? You don't think I know you? I know the number of hairs on your head. You just have a trivia test right quick. You know the number of hairs on your head, I'm just saying. So, <laughs> and like Job, you know, hey, he started with creation. Were you there when I did this? Were you there? Okay, so um, hey, if God said, it's done. It's done. Take it. Thank you, Lord. But hey, but Zacharias was like in disbelief. Disbelief. Wow, this, this is amazing. Of course, everything God do is amazing. Everything. When we look at the sky today, it's like, man, it's, it's, it's like the clouds of certain formation. And you know, the man go to name it and everything. But hey, it's, it's a form. Tomorrow you go there, whole different you know, configuration of the clouds. <laughs> I'm just saying that everything you do, they got Niagara Falls. I mean, hey, it didn't stop running. We run out of water. We can pay the bill. Niagara Falls still falling. I'm just saying, you know, it, it's the sun. Oh, my goodness. Now, you mean to tell me that big old thing that's hot and we ain't got to put no gas to keep it going? <laughs> Have mercy. A lot of God, like they say, the book can't contain the, the, the things that God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, the Gabriel had him dumb so he couldn't speak because one of the things we do when we get a prophecy from the Lord or a word from the Lord hey this is going to happen don't look at your circumstances and say, eh, I don't see how this going to happen all right you know, keep quiet with your dumb self <laughs> you know, so look now <laughs> he was he was he was up in the in the altar right doing his incense thing all right, and, and he's been in there a while because now he's talking to an angel. He had a conversation with an angel. So everybody outside praying. So Zacharias was in a, the holy place. So in the court configuration, see if this was the court, they had a holy place where uh, they did the incense and the table showbread and whatnot. And then they had the holy of holies on the inside of that. You had to be right to go in a holy place. Yeah. And you had to be right, right, right to go in a holy place. Now, hey, you know when they got a rope on you. All right, now look. If, if we stop hearing them bells, right. you, you, you keep doing this here so we can hear them bells on your little clothes. Yeah. If we stop hearing them bells, we're going to pull you out. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be right with the Lord. Yeah. Huh, thank goodness right. for God's grace and mercy today. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, we still have to be right now. You yeah. know, we want to give ourselves to him as a living sacrifice. Yeah. Hallelujah. But we want to be right with him. So help us, Lord, to be right. Cover us with your blood. Yeah. Hallelujah. But, but that Paul was all right. So he came out and he had to beckon with him. So... Here they go outside. Well, what took you so long? What's up? Now, hey, don't take that long to do this. Especially, I'm just saying today, hey, you know the football game is supposed to come on at 3 o'clock. Look at you, man. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. So he couldn't say nothing. So he had to make signs and gestures. So now y'all thought charades was something y'all made up about us back then. Well, look, I saw an angel. <laughs> an angel, angel, yeah. yeah. And a, a vision. Oh. What, what's that? What's that? <laughs> he had to. <laughs> he, 
yeah. a little, little charades going on there. <laughs> Can you do it in two words or less? <laughs> it's like, yeah, so, well, hey, well, yeah, that, that, that's, I don't know how he did that, brother. You know, he did it though, some kind of way. He, they, oh, he had a vision, so they got that out of it. And, you know, he's an older fella too, so, you know, I don't know. But anyway, it came out. So, the bottom line is, it came time to conceive. So they ask Elizabeth, you know, the lady's all excited about it. Oh, girl, you conceived? Woo! What you gonna name that baby? It's gonna be Zacharias, huh? Say, no, it's gonna be John. Girl, you ain't got nobody in your family named John. So what's the matter for you? It took you all these years to produce it and call it. Hold on. Let's ask his daddy. He come, he come. Oh, here comes charades, master. <laughs> now, just give me a... Mm -hmm. Give me a right, <laughs> right <now. laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, he wrote it down, and he said this thing gonna be John. Yeah. And once he revealed John, and it matched with Elizabeth said, because both of them were visited, right? Yeah. So it's a holy thing. So, and and what he's gonna be the the forerunner of the of the son of the highest. Yeah. So this is like an honor, and then from the womb. He gonna be filled with the spirit. Filled with the spirit. Yes, filled yes, with the yes. spirit. Yes. Oh, now look, I'm gonna tell y'all now. When, when somebody is filled with the spirit, you can do holy things. You, your, your stuff is bolder than regular. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. So it's like I don't know if I'm gonna talk to that person. Filled with the spirit. Look, I'm gonna tell you what the thus saith the Lord. Yeah. You know, I'm just saying, filled with the spirit. So what's the example in the Old Testament? Elijah. So it, it's referred to both of them, uh, the spirit of Elijah. So the spirit of Elijah, he had to go against the prophets of Baal. That was 450 guys. Well, Plus the prophets that sat at the, the table that of, of false gods. That's another 400. Yeah. Say, bring them all out here. Let's yeah. do this here. Let's just do this because I am confident yeah. about what God can do. Yeah. I don't worry about all this here. Yeah. I don't worry about it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you all up. Come on. Yeah. Come on, everybody. Let's do this sacrifice. Yeah. But he was following instructions. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put my bull in. Eh? Cut him up. Cut up my sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Y'all can douse this with water. Yeah. All right. Y'all cut y'all's up. All right. Let's see which God is going to answer. Mm -hmm. And y'all know, hey, my dad's. They didn't have no answer. <laughs> so Elijah started making fun of him. Oh, well, look, cry out louder. Cry out louder. He might not hear you. Oh, they might be sleeping. Oh, on the door. Cut yourself up. Cut you oh, yeah, yeah, cut ourselves too. Yeah. <laughs> After they were all out done. <laughs> no answer. So he said, okay, now let me show you. All right, everybody ready? Let's go see what God can do. Yeah. Oh God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Let them know that yes. you are God all by yourself. Oh, yes. 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 Send this sacrifice yes. right here. Yes. Oh, that lightning came down, yes. scorched up the whole area. Yes. Not a drop of water, and everything was burnt. Yes. I'm God. Yes. By myself. Oh, Hallelujah. Yes. Blessed be the name of the yes. Lord. Yes. He is so awesome. Yeah. And, and, and that, that holy boldness of Elijah. Woo! So, uh, Zacharias, uh, John the Baptist, they, they, they were compared uh, a, a lot with each, with each other because of that spirit. But when you're spirit filled, mm -hmm. Samson was spirit filled with, with, with his head, Nazarene, you know. But, uh, but when you're filled with the spirit, yeah. hallelujah. Fill us, love, yeah. uh, with your Holy yeah. Spirit. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, uh, he, they do say in here, hold on, I'm going to tell you the verse right quick. 16, he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord, their God. So, <laughs> this happened throughout history. Uh, Joshua, determine this day whom you will serve. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So, uh, in, in this case, uh, even with uh, Elijah. Now look, y'all saw what God can do? Okay, so yeah, you know, he turned a lot of hearts. Uh, uh, John the Baptist? Yes, he did. Now, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. I was liking my little pictogram. Uh, charades, the other thing there. Uh, but anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so he made that up. Yeah. So, so y'all get the credit where credit due around. Yeah. <laughs> But what's the whole duty of man? 
Hallelujah. To, to fear God and keep his commandments. From Ecclesiastes 12, 13 and Romans 12, 1. I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And hey, reasonable service, so Zachariah was obedient. Uh, they did have a child. Y'all know he was the full, full runner for Jesus Christ, and that, that is an honor. Uh, Zacharias was serving in the priestly office. And I, I'm going to just say this too. Uh, God chooses. Yep. It's like you wonder, how did I get in this situation? Yeah. God chooses that. So yeah. the way that Zacharias got to be the one that was burning the incense that day, because remember I told you he had plenty of people, plenty yeah. of people, that's plenty of right. people. And, mm -hmm. and that's the family. And, and they all from the uh, from the Levi, Aaron, on down the line. And uh, what they had to do, they had to choose lots. So they had to draw lots, mm -hmm. cast lots. Mm -hmm. They cast lots into the lap. So they cast the lots and and Zacharias was picked that day. Yeah. Now, hey, the words say that God, hallelujah, controls the disposing of the lots. Yeah. So it was God's choosing Zacharias yeah. that way. Yeah. Where everybody could see, everybody witnessed. So, yeah, well, he got the lot. Okay, well, okay, it's your turn. All right. So it was, it was a privilege. So I thank the Lord for this privilege staying up here. Amen. You know, you hope have a whole lot of ministers. You gotta wait your turn. My, my turn yet, Pastor? No. It's gonna be your turn when I tell you. <laughs> gotta wait. Anybody have some water while I'm waiting? <laughs> yeah, so, so I'm just saying, you know, but whatever, whatever we do for the Lord, sometimes we have to we have to wait until He give us that instruction. Oh, and, and, but but when we get that instruction, don't you know, hallelujah. We just heed to what the word of the Lord says and believe in what he's saying. Yeah. So so that's that's the biggest thing. And then a lot of people, well, I prayed to the Lord and he didn't answer me. This is not church's chicken where you drive up to the window and look, I need a two piece and I want it right now. How long that's gonna take you? You know, we don't we don't go to the Lord demanding stuff like that. He is the author finisher of our faith. So it's like Lord. May I have such and such, not not my will, but Thy will. Yeah. So help 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 me to be more God-like as I make these decisions, because You direct the steps. Yeah. A good man's steps is ordered by the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. And and how can man know his way when the steps are ordered by the Lord? Yeah. Hallelujah, Lord. Direct my paths, please, <laughs> to righteousness. Yeah. Hallelujah. So they, if the righteous gonna scarcely make it in, let me make it in. It don't yeah. matter. Like, like that's what I was saying with the football games. It don't matter if somebody win by a big margin, if they win by one point. Winning is winning. <laughs> and, and and hey, y'all know we get those bragging rights. If your team win, ah oh, yeah, my team won the day. <laughs> Well, hey, the Lord wants us to rejoice, like when somebody coming to get baptized. Yeah. Ah, thank you, Lord. Yeah. And especially our children. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for, y'all give a hand to the youth choir back here. Yeah. That's, that's the dedication. Yeah. Choir, that's taking out of dedication. And, yeah. Past director, too. She right, man. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for, thank you, Lord, for y'all. But but it, 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 it takes a holy boldness to, to do what thus saith the Lord. Because yeah. a lot of times you don't feel like it. Mm. Well, let me see. I can take a little longer nap today. Oh, yeah. Let me see. I can fix myself up or something. Or do what I want to do. But hey, when the Lord say do it and we do it, mm. and you might not feel like it, but you you know, I don't know. It's, 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 you can just feel. You feel better when you, when you know you did it right. Yeah. You feel better. I don't care how you feel when Man, I love, I'm going to have to drag myself to church today. Drag it then. Drag it. I'm going to tell you, drag it. Because it's going to be worth it. Yeah. Hallelujah. To hear a word from the Lord. Whatever that word is for you. Yeah. Hallelujah. It might be the song that they sing in the minister to you. Uh, or the deacon that read a scripture of the month or whatever. Or uh, the preaching. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, anyway, John the Baptist, of course, was born. And, and it was glad tidings. And he is the son of the most highest. Uh, and, and, and it is a blessing. So we thank the Lord. Uh, the bottom line is the other part of this thing was uh, I'm, I, I got I got to read a, a scripture. It's just one verse. But anyway, the bottom line is uh, Zacharias, your prayer is heard. Yeah. So a lot of times it seemed like, well, I, I prayed the prayer and I don't know, nothing happened. 
and, and that's the whole thing. Uh, when we pray our prayers, don't expect something right there. Mm -hmm. but, but, but hey, when he comes, yeah. if it's for you to get it, you're going to get it. Amen. Amen. It's like, hey, if you, you might want to be a millionaire. I want to be a millionaire. Mm -hmm. It don't matter because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness yes. thereof. Yes. What? And all that dwell there and all that dwell there in. So, so he controls everything. Yeah. And he can make men give it to your bosom. Yeah. Yeah. When you have favor in the sight of God and man. Yeah. Oh, that's my child. And y'all know as fathers, you know, we, when our child do something, shoot, they made the honor roll. <laughs> Look, our chest come out like a rooster. Oh, yeah, that's my child. That's mine right there. Now, when they do something embarrassing, all right. Yeah, they go. <laughs> but God loves us so much that, hey, that, that's my child. So I'm, I'm just waiting for repentance. So I'm, you know, hey, uh, I just want to take just a minute to uh, take a shout out to a couple of guys that's, that I work with. Uh, they participate in the Sunday school, and what we do, one man read one verse. And next thing you know, two of them say, man, I've been shacking. So, I, you know, I'm not going to condemn them and stuff. But uh, they say, well, hey, one got married uh, like a couple of months ago. Another one just got married this week. Amen. So thank you a lot for that. He moves. Yes. We don't have to see it. Yeah. And you don't know what you'd be doing sometimes. Yeah. He puts you in a predicament sometimes. Yeah. It's like, man, it's a flat tire predicament right here. Mm -hmm. But God is able. Yes, he, is. he might have you right there because, oh. hey, for, for one of you ladies, that might be your prince and sign and all, when they pull up. He don't have to work for AAA to fix your flat. Yeah. Sure. Hold on down. What's up? <laughs> I, I feel better all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, you never know. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, your prayer has been heard that thou mightst know the certainty. The certainty is that God is able to do exceedingly above all that we ask of thee. Never give up. Never. Always do right. Yes. Hallelujah. It don't seem like it might pay off right then and there because he moved at his time, yeah. not at our time. Amen. You know, so just just to remind everybody that uh, Martha and Mary, they, they were praying for Lazarus, right? Well, if, the, if Jesus was here, he, he'd be, you know, all right. But Lazarus died. Yeah. And Jesus tallied. He, he said, well, hold on. I'm going to wait. It's, it's not time. So by the time he came, oh, well, Lord, if he was here a little earlier, we'd be all right. But I said, we know he's going to be all right anyway in the, in the last day. Jesus, once again, I am the resurrection. Hallelujah. I am the resurrection. This is the resurrection here. But God says, he is. Hallelujah. And with that, with that relationship, Lazarus, come forward. What? He called what? Yeah. Ooh, he's an awesome God. Yeah. Yeah. Full of miracles. Yeah. And his book can't, can't contain Amen. all the good things. Oh, Hallelujah. And, and, and eyes have not seen nor ears heard nor yeah. entered to the heart of man. Yeah. What things he had for those who love him. Amen. So y'all just keep loving God. Be patient. And keep on praying. Yeah. Keep on praying. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.